Carl Frutch has been very active in the media over the past week or so. And he's been talking about possibly coming out of retirement and having one more fight. Now, earlier this year, he was flirting with the idea of fighting Gennady Golovkin. But in the interviews he's been given this week, he seems to be leaning more towards a fight with James DeGale if he chooses to fight again. He says that the Gale fight would be an easy fight for him, basically basically like taking candy from a baby. And that fight would probably take place in spring 2016, Wembley Stadium, 80,000 people, <laughs> you know the rest. Uh, but he says he still needs some other motivating factor to make him actually want to come out of retirement and go through with it. And he says maybe if the Gale looks good against Lucian Butte, does a better job than he did against Butte, and maybe calls him out after the fight, then that might be the necessary motivating factor for him to actually come out of retirement and fight the Gale next year. Now, how do you guys feel about a Carl Frotch James DeGale fight? I've seen a lot of people say, you know what, they don't want to see that fight. The only Frotch fight they're interested in if he comes out of retirement is the Golovkin fight. You can't dangle that type of carrot in front of people's faces and then say haha actually no I don't want to fight Golovkin I just want to fight the Gale a lot I've seen a lot of people with that type of response they're not interested in the Frotch coming back unless it's going to be the Golovkin fight the the Gale fight just don't have that type of appeal personally I think Carl Frotch would lose to the Gale at this point in time I think he'd lose to the Gale and he'd lose to Golovkin and the reason why I say that, well, there are many reasons, but I'll give you one of the main reasons. Carl Frutch is pushing 40 years old now. And yes, I know he takes care of himself, but he's not a Bernard Hopkins or Floyd Mayweather style fighter in the sense that he's not elusive. Frutch takes a lot of punishment. Frutch is not a guy who trades on his incredible ring craft or reflexes or defense no Carl Frotch trades on endurance his punching power his work rate his fitness etc his ability to absorb punishment and wear down his opponents and take them out this is what Carl Frotch relies on and pushing 40 years old when you've been out the ring for two years because that's what what it will have been if he fights anyone in 20 uh, spring 2016 it will have been two years out the ring your reflexes are definitely going to diminish in that space of time and Carl Froch never had good reflexes to begin with the guy's a warrior the guy's got tremendous heart good puncher you know tremendous physical condition but he's always been a guy that gets hit a hell of a lot even against lower level fighters when Carl Froch was on his way up you go back and look at the Charles Adamu fight Carl Frotch was getting hit with everything that Adamu threw at him. The Brian McGee fight. Go back and look at the first world title fight he had against Jean Pascal. He was getting hit with everything. Look at the Jermaine Taylor fight. Look at the both Kessler fights, actually. The Durrell fight. The first Groves fight. Even, he, even though he boxed well against Johnson, he still got hit with a lot of punches against Johnson defense and reflexes have never been Carl Frotch's strong point and you have to figure that in the past two years his reflexes certainly will have diminished and I can't see his defense having improved any over the past two years of inactivity and going in against a guy like the Gale who is probably at his peak right now or very close to it a guy who's been fighting regularly he's been very active He's been fighting at a high level. He's extremely sharp right now. And I think he would catch Carl Frotch with all types of punches. And I don't think that Frotch would be able to uh, come through all that and gain a victory. He might be able to go the distance with the Gale. He probably would. But I don't think he'd be able to uh, make it work for him. Just having that endurance and being able to take all the Gale's punches and then somehow win the fight I don't think so and the same goes for Golovkin Golovkin's been very active yes he's a smaller man than Frotch but not that much smaller in fact some people might argue that Golovkin's not smaller than Frotch at all Frotch is not and never has been 
a particularly big super middleweight. He makes super middleweight comfortably. So, yeah, I think Golovkin will be too sharp for him. He's been very active. I would personally advise Carl Froch to stay retired. I think if he comes out of retirement and fights Golovkin or uh, James DeGale in spring 2016, I think he's going to lose. So I would advise him to stay retired, just do his thing, sail off into the sunset. Now, some people are talking about DeGale possibly being upset by Lucian Butte over in Canada. We'll see what happens there. De Gale's definitely one of the kind of, you know, he's the, the kind of character who does get overconfident. He gets far too cocky, overconfident, and, you know, personality types like that are the ones who end up, uh, you know, being upset a lot of the time because they just overlook people. So it's certainly possible, but I don't think so. I think De Gale will take care of Lucian Boutet, and then we'll see whether Froch fancies it after that. Let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comment section below, people. I'm sure a lot of people will disagree with me. I'm sure a lot of people think that Frutch will come out of retirement, or if he does come out of retirement, he'll easily beat James DeGale, just the way Frutch is saying. But then again, there are people, many people who I've seen online, saying that Mike Tyson could come out of retirement right now and beat Deontay Wilder, which is incredibly dumb as far as I'm concerned, because Mike Tyson, when, when did he retire? Was it like 10 years ago? He retired about 10 years ago after being defeated by Kevin McBride 10 years ago. So you're saying that McBride can beat him 10 years ago, but Wilder can't beat him now. Okay. <laughs> now I know that's a much more extreme example, but I just feel, you know, Frotch, yeah, he did look good against Groves in the last fight, about two years out the ring. He's never had good reflexes to begin with. Going up against young, sharp guys like DeGale or Golovkin, who've been very active, who are in the prime of their life right now. I don't like his chances, to be honest with you. Maybe you disagree. It's all good. Drop your comments in the comment section below. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.